I'm Jacqueline Xuanhui. I'm now here at Anding District. And you know, the Chinese soberry is so famous here at Anding District. And you see, it looks just like a kind of fruit called the dragon's eye, longyan. So, what is the Chinese soberry? Let's go check it out. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Wang, the owner of the company. Hi Mr. Wang. Uh, Mr. Wang, could you please give me a tour around your company? This is a soberry processing factory. Although it's not a tourism factory, the owner of the company has set up an exhibition room to help tourists know the Chinese soberry better. The Chinese soberry is indigenous to middle and low altitude mountains in Taiwan. Chinese soberry trees are tall and they have an extensive root system that contributes to water and soil conservation. The Chinese soberry industry is both a profitable and green industry. So the Chinese soberry is very famous around here. So, what is the Chinese soberry and is it edible? The peel of the Chinese soberry can be used to make cleaning supplies and pesticides. The seeds can be used to extract oil or to make handicrafts. And what about the growth characteristic of the Chinese soberry? The flowers of the Chinese soberry bloom in March to April, and the soberries are ready to be harvested in September to October. In addition to information about the Chinese soberry, there are many special handicrafts here in the factory. So what are these little black balls over here? These black balls here are seeds of the Chinese soberry. The Chinese soberry industry is indeed a green industry. Nothing is wasted. This is a processing factory and you can see many workers are packaging the products. So this is the packaging process. After visiting the factory, I can't wait to find out how the shell of the Chinese soberry that looks like the long yen are made into detergent. It's not a difficult task. Peel the shell in the same way as you peel a long yen. Put shells in a sack and rub them together. When you see bubble foam, your detergent is done. Just by rubbing those crust and with the water, you can have a lot of bubbles and it's just totally natural without any other things. And you see, if you want such natural things, you can just hang it by the faucet and just add some water, you can have such natural soap. Since people know little about the Chinese soapberry, if you come to the factory, you can learn more from the exhibition and also experience how to use the soapberry to make some soap. Back to the days when there was no detergent, People used to do cleaning work with soapberry shells. After a chemical detergent came out, soapberries were gradually forgotten. The Chinese soapberry is not only unharmful to we humans, but also good to the soil and water conservation. So next time, if you come to visit Anjing District, don't miss the Chinese soapberry factory.